also the same kind of depth in his, just like Damodar Maharaj was saying, to hear from a Mahabhagwat, not an ordinary thing. Their special potency and power in their vibration. So I felt that at that time. And he spoke for ten minutes and said, you can come back in the morning when I am more fresh. And I did, a couple more times, and met with him. Uh, but then, so many years went by, as I tried to remain within the institution that my spiritual master had placed me in. Uh, but by the early 80s, the institution's leaders had made a fatal fatal mistake in rejecting this personality and not only rejecting but banning him and banning anyone who goes to him and at that time I felt this is not right but there was so much propaganda and I was still trying to remain in the institution but after another two years of this I had enough and now I began to think I must go to him I cannot tolerate this uh, so uh, I was expressing this to various God brothers, and the leader of the institution at that time I was in England called me to his room. What are you talking about? And I explained I'm I'm I want to go and meet with Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sri Maharaj. He said, You know what that means? You can't visit our temples. You can't speak to any of our devotees. You can't uh, speak to any of our life members anymore. You'll be completely banned like this. I said, Hare Krishna. Okay. It was it was a very difficult thing after 14 years of giving my whole life energy to the service of this institution. But at that point, I clearly understood they're going the wrong way. And I wasn't going to go that way. So it was very fortunate. I was fortunate. Gaur Nityananda allowed me again to meet the Mahabhagwat and I worked very hard to make the plane fair, and then I went to Navadweep and fell at the lotus feet of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And for six weeks I stayed there, and he gave so much nectar and harikatha during that time. Even he was sick, and he didn't speak so often. But just being there in his temple compound where he is, it was astonishing atmosphere. Huh? The same kind of purity, spiritual potency, that was there in the presence of Srila Prabhupada. So, in my heart, I began to realize this whole truth about Siksha and Diksha Guru, that they are one and the same. Siksha Guru, Diksha Guru, they are equal and identical manifestations of Sri Krishna. And I began to understand that, yes, now I have two Gurus in my life. Uh, I have my primary Guru and I have my secondary Guru, but they both hold a very important place in this little heart of mine. Huh? Then the years went by. I'm trying to make this short. I don't want to make this too long. Then the years went by. Now 1988 came. I have one godbrother. We all have this godbrother, Pran Kishore Prabhu. Now you know that Pran Kishore Prabhu, oh, he was the first Western devotee to come and render service to the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev. He recognized Srila Gurudev. You know how? He was a pujari in the New York temple. And right after Prabhupada's disappearance, there was a kirtan recordings of Srila Gurudev's kirtan on Prabhupada's disappearance. And they used to play that recording on the altar when he was dressing the deities. And he heard this voice again and again singing this kirtan. Bolo Hadi Hadi Mukunda Muradi Rama Krishna Haya Griva. You all know this classic kirtan, this eternal kirtan of Gurudev's. And when he heard this, he said, I have to meet this person. And so, next time he had the chance to go to Vrindavan, he met another devotee who used to go there to Mathura and listen to the Hindi classes of this person, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. So, from the beginning, Pran Kishore had this attraction and attachment to the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev. And I didn't meet Pran Kishore again. We knew each other from the early 70s, but I didn't meet him again for some years. And then in 1986, in California... 
I met him. And at that time, we had both, we both discovered that our paths led in the same direction. We had left the institution for Srila Sridhar Maharaj. But he also had this simultaneous relationship with Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. And he began to tell me about him. And I told him, yes, 